Hello students, I am teacher Madhuri. Hope you all are fit and fine and enjoying our videos. Today I will not start with history but I will start with something else. I know by now you all must have guessed. Today we will start a session with civics of class 4. In today's session we will learn what is civics? Before we proceed further, I want you all to look at this picture very carefully. Students, what did you all notice in this picture? Yes, there is rubbish lying all around in the classroom. So what do you think, what you all will do as a student? Yes, you all Together we'll clean the rubbish that are lying on the floor and clean the classroom. But why is it necessary to clean the classroom? Yes, it is very important and healthier to study in a clean environment. By cleaning, you are making the classroom fit for learning. As a student, it is your duty to keep the classroom clean. Similarly, you also have some duties towards your school and teachers. Just like we are students of this school, we are also the citizens of our country. Now let us study what do you mean by citizen. A citizen is a person who is a member of a particular country. That means a person who stays permanently in a particular country. Since we all live in India, we are the citizens of India. The, a citizen of India is called an Indian. So we are Indians. The word citizen comes from the Latin word civis which means a person who lives in a city or a country. As a student in a school, we can enjoy various facilities that are provided by school. Like we can use school bus, we can make use of library, we can make use of playground. Similarly, as citizens of India, we enjoy some rights. For example, we can travel to any part of our country or we can live and work in any part of our country that is India. Similarly, the government also provides us various facilities to its citizens like Hospital, police station, schools, these are government schools, parks, transportation, trains and government buses, water, electricity and so on. So these facilities which are provided by our government are called public services. So, it is our duty to make use of these public services with proper care. In school, we follow certain rules and regulations. Similarly, as citizen of India, we need to follow some responsibility towards our country. For example, we need to respect elders. We should care for others and not hurt their feelings. We should live in harmony and peace. We should also take care of our environment. So, to understand the rights and duties of citizens of a country, one has to study civics. So, what is civics? Civics is the study of the rights and duties of citizens. It also tells us how the government works. It teaches us how laws provide 
protection to individual we also study the responsibilities of citizens and therefore we should not misuse our rights we also learn our duty towards our neighbors society city and towards our country the word civics comes from the latin word civicus which means of a citizen so student i would like to put across few questions to you what will you do if you find a roadside tap open while no one is using the water or an old man trying to cross the road or someone throwing the garbage on the street or someone scribbling on a monument yes you will not ignore you will close the tap you will help the old man to cross the road you will ask that person not to throw garbage on the street and you will stop that person who is scribbling on the monument so this shows your good manner that you have learned from your parents and teachers so you are basically doing your duty towards the society so now let us learn what do you mean by civic sense civic sense means the duty of an individual towards society it is very important that the citizens have good behavior and follow some basic social ethics like citizen with civic sense will always follow rules and regulations are good and helpful to their neighbors keep the parks and beaches they visit clean show respect and listen to their elders are always ready to help those who are in need do not spit on the road and keep the roads clean have clean habits and use garbage bins at home as well as outside save water and electricity take care of public properties like libraries parks etc a good citizen is healthy in mind and body because he or she observes cleanliness and follows rules and laws to keep the society clean and safe good citizens are aware of their responsibilities and have civic sense students now i want you all to see the pictures and tell me which of the situations display civic sense let us see the first picture yes the first picture displays civic sense it tells us that we should live in harmony with our neighbors the second picture Yes the second picture too displays civic sense it shows us that we must help children with difficulties and never make them feel lonely while playing you can include them in your games the third picture this picture shows lack of civic sense as you all can see it is not correct to scribble or write on the monument the fourth picture this picture too shows lack of civic sense it is very important to follow playground safety rules never push any child always wait for your turn the fifth picture it displays civic sense as they are protecting the environment by planting more trees the next picture This picture shows lack of civic sense as we should not throw stones at animals. The next picture displays civic sense as the boy is helping an elderly man by carrying his heavy bags. Next, 
This picture shows lack of civic sense. The boys playing cricket have broken the window glass. The next picture too shows lack of civic sense. People have thrown garbage on the beach. The next picture. Yes, this picture displays civic sense as students have made use of dustbin to throw their wrappers. The last picture shows lack of civic sense as it is not correct to run on the zebra crossing without following the safety rules. So students, through this activity, now you know what you should do and what you shouldn't. School and home are best places to learn civic sense. When civic sense is lacking in a society, it leads to a lot of problems. Good civic sense of the citizens is very important for the growth and development of any country. If we remember to do these duties properly, we are being civic minded. The place where we stay can become a good place to live in. Thank you.